close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. It might be in the chest, it might be in the face, it might be in the stomach. But notice where you're most sensitive to it and place your awareness there. Try to keep it there. All the way through the in breath, all the way through the out. And ask yourself if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Make shorter breathing, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. But commit yourself to staying here. You're going to make this work. Meditation doesn't just happen. It happens because you make it work. It's like so many good things in life. There are some good things that simply come our way, but that's a result of past actions. But if you're going to be eating up all your past good actions, what do you got to have left? You've got to commit yourself to creating something good now. If you want it to be something of solid worth and substance, you've got to commit to it. As the Buddha said, you find the Dharma, you find all the goodness in life through a combination of commitment and reflection. You commit yourself to doing something good, you try your best to do whatever it is to keep it going, make it grow. And then you reflect, is it going well? What could you change that would make it better? You have a very clear sense of your agency that you're responsible for a lot of the goodness in life. And so you want to make sure it really is good. So keep reflecting back on your actions. A willingness to see a mistake and to learn from the mistake is one of the best skills you can develop. Because goodness is a skill. It's not just based on good intentions, but it's based also on having good intentions and then following through. And then checking to make sure if the intentions are, are really good and if you're carrying them out, they really do give good results. Because sometimes we have good intentions, but they're blind. How do you overcome your blindness? Well, by looking at your actions, as the Buddha said, as a, you would look into a mirror. What do your actions show about you? What kind of results are you getting? What kind of intentions are you acting on? What are you doing and what results do you get? And you want to look at these things and make adjustments. If you're not sure what to do, well, look around for good examples. This is where I have the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as our refuge because they provide good examples in all kinds of areas of life. Give you an idea of what's possible and what human beings can do to create goodness in their lives. If you commit. So remember, commitment has to go with reflection. We're not here just to let go, let go. So many times you hear that that's what the Buddha's teachings are about. It's just letting go, letting go. Well, you let go of the things that get in the way of your commitment. You let go of the things that are standing in the way of doing something really well. But you hold on to the principle that you're committed to something really good, and you're going to see it through. And if it turns out that it doesn't work out, well, it's going to be through no fault of your own. But in most cases it will work out, as long as you're determined to make it work out. Because that's the only way that goodness is going to be found. <laughs>